Okay, this is a continuation of Archimedes' Principle Part 2, and I'm going to now extend what we did before, which dealt with liquids, to gases. So, a helium-filled balloon has a total mass of 8.571 grams and a volume of 20.18 liters. A. What will the balloon appear to weigh when surrounded by hydrogen gas? There's the density of hydrogen gas, 0 0.08930 grams per liter. Notice this is a gas, so we talk about its density in grams per liter rather than liquids and solids, which are usually in grams per milliliter. Okay? Part B, what would it appear to weigh when surrounded by air? And the density of air is 1.286, again, grams per liter. So, we've been using this table. Let's continue with that. The volume of the object is given to us straight up there, 20.18 liters. A 20.18 liter balloon will displace 20.18 liters of whatever gas it's in, in this case hydrogen. We're going to do A first. Those are always going to be equal as they were before. 20.18 liters multiplied by the density, 0 0.08930 grams per liter, gives us a mass of 1.802 grams for the amount of hydrogen that's being displaced. So that goes down there, 1.802 grams. Those will always be related by the density of the fluid, and the fluid this time is a gas, hydrogen. And, because you know those bottom two are always equal, that's Archimedes' principle, the weight lost by the object will also be 1.802 grams. So if the balloon actually weighs 8.571 grams, it loses 1.802 grams. The answer to the first part is 6.769 grams. And if you were to put that balloon on that scale, remember, it's a helium balloon, but it's surrounded by hydrogen. And helium's more dense than hydrogen, so it sinks and gives you a reading there of 6.769 grams. Okay? Now let's compare that to part B. What will it appear to weigh when surrounded by air? And air is a much more dense fluid. Again, the table. Again, we fill it out with 20.18 liters, the given volume, and... That'll be the volume of the fluid displaced, the air displaced. Those will always be equal. Same idea. We're going to take that 20.18 liters, multiply it this time times the density of air, 1.286 grams per liter, and get 25.95 grams for the weight of the air that's being displaced. Those, again, related by the density of the air. Weight lost by the object has to equal that. Those are always equal. That's Archimedes principle. So this time, our 8.571 gram balloon will have lost, appeared to have lost, 25.95 grams. This gives us a negative value, just like it did in the previous problem with a stone that was submerged in the liquid mercury. Similar thing happens with this helium balloon submerged in air. And we know what a helium balloon does. We say it floats. Well, that's exactly what this is going to look what the scale says. Okay, The balloon would, of course, drift away to the ceiling. So the correct answer for how much that balloon weighs, if you look at the scale, 0, 0.00 grams. But you might wonder, what's that negative 17.38 grams? Well, if we were to take the balloon and tape it down to the scale, it would actually be creating a lifting force on that scale's plate and uh, you would see a negative 17.38 grams. And scales actually do that. If you lift up on the, on the scale, it'll read and give you a negative reading there. So that's Archimedes' principle. It really explains why things float and sink, not just because they're more dense, less dense. It's because the buoyant force upward on them is either greater than or less than the force of gravity pulling them down. Okay, in this case, this helium balloon has a greater buoyant force pushing upward on it than it does have a gravitational force pulling downward on it, so that balloon tends to accelerate upward. Okay, hopefully you can use the, this table and this way of solving these problems um, for solving all your Archimedes principle type problems. And it really is a nice way of connecting ideas of volume, density, weight, buoyant force. I hope you find this video very useful.